image. Still image of RPC-003-01 instances in battle. Registered phenomena code. RPC-003. Designation. Toys of Valor. Object class. Alpha Orange. Hazard types. Animated hazard. Sapient hazard. Grouped hazard. Ballistic hazard. Containment protocols. RPC-003 is to be stored in Locker 38 when not in use. All personnel with clearance of level 1 and above may spectate the bi-weekly war games conducted by Dr. Alex Fisher. Note. Betting is strictly prohibited. Use of RPC-003 is only authorized in blast-hardened locations. See Incident 003-3. Description. RPC-003 is a large grey bin containing approximately 1,000 plastic soldier figurines, along with dozens of different structures and vehicles, divided into four separate armies bearing different uniforms, these being Wehrmacht, United States Army, Imperial Japanese Army, and the Red Army of the Soviet Union. All four uniforms are identical to those issued during World War II. New figurines identical to those removed will regenerate at an average speed of five figurines per minute. Upon a removal from the bin, the figurines, hereafter referred to as RPC-003-01, will immediately become sentient and follow the orders given by the one who removed them. If no orders are given by the subject, then RPC-003-01 will act on their own initiative, establishing a chain of command. RPC-003-01's first action after forming a chain of command is to establish an HQ. While able to make use of the structures provided by RPC-003, they are perfectly capable of constructing their own structures. An HQ typically includes an officer's building, a barracks, a field hospital, a vehicle depot, an air pad runway, and a central flagpole. After the completion of the HQ, RPC-003-01 will begin construction of vehicles suitable for use in exploration. Upon completion, RPC-003-01 will begin deploying exploration teams to various strategically sound locations and establishing outposts. This behavior will remain largely unchanged until they encounter another country. Upon encountering what are considered foreign powers, RPC-003-01 instances have shown the ability to communicate and perform complicated political activities such as defining borders, negotiating, espionage, and organizing joint exercises. If communications break down, instances of RPC-003-01 will begin preparing for war. If not prevented, a declaration of war will inevitably occur. Like with their ability to perform politics, RPC-003-01 have shown to be capable of highly complex tactics. During a combat, it is revealed that instances of RPC-003-01 fire live ammunition instead of plastic. Even ammo fired by infantry can prove fatal to humans. RPC-003-01's wars are brutal and surrender is uncommon. The only time such an event would occur is when their HQ flag is captured, at which point, instances of RPC-003-01 will unanimously surrender. Upon a declaration of war, RPC-003-01 instances will immediately launch an R&D program in an attempt to increase their fighting force. This has resulted in the creation of both historically accurate and inaccurate creations. Weaponry created by RPC-003-01 instances become increasingly advanced the longer they remain active. Modern firearms, aircraft carriers, power armor, ospreys, apaches, and in one instance, even laser-based weaponry have been seen. For a full list of all documented tech, see file 003-011. Incident 003-3 During a bi-weekly wargame viewing, after the US flag was destroyed, instead of surrendering, RPC-003-01 instances retreated to a series of nearby bunkers that had been constructed. Following this retreat, dozens of hidden silos opened, launching nuclear missiles which proceeded to level the room, destroying all RPC-003-01 instances. Dr. Fisher. Holy redacted.